We have a Pikachu Pichu set. Oh, we have the baby rats? versus teenager. Rat off? Yes, we have a rat off. They're having a rat off. It's a New York sewer system, baby. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is, this is, we are defending the North, all right. It's a, it's a sewer system brawl. Who's getting the last Cheeto bag? This rat is why they versus shut down the rat. Today? Yes. For, for the rat off? It's for the rat off. Now, the biggest thing about the difference between Pikachu and Pichu is that Pichu's better. And Pichu, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, very astute observation there. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And actually, in the meta, um, context, it always says Pikachu, Pichu is better. Um, Pikachu is better than Pichu. God, this is so difficult to commentate. But either way, we're seeing a little rat off. And the thing with Pichu is that he does damage himself over time um, as he continues to attack. The hardest thing here, I think, that the Pichu, the, the one really uh, advantage that Pichu has in this advantage, in, in this um, in this matchup, it's like that combo game is a lot easier to hit on Pikachu, right? Because like, Pikachu is literally just like Pichu, but with a bigger hurtbox, right? So mm -hmm. you can definitely take advantage there and get some of your cheesy combos. But Pikachu is just so good. Like, he literally, he tanks everything better. His upbeat does yes. damage. He's able to get his kill confirms earlier. And obviously, being the lightest character in the game, it's tough to deal with. Oh, but that doesn't. As I say that, but too. But it does not matter. It matter. And... Castar Man takes stock number one in this set. Very good stuff to him. Yeah, Castar Man showing the work, what Pichu can do, but unfortunately, G uh, GX Team just coming in right then and there, the force match, just to, you know, make a statement. You know, I I'm I'm the bigger brother, okay, of the two. The I'm Pikachu. Brother. I'm the evolution. I'm the Thunderstone holder. Big you are just Pichu. Just always watching. But even then, oh, down throw to up air is not going to be able to do much there. G Extreme, nice using SDI to get out of there. He's just trying to find his combos. That dash actually going to be doing a lot. Castar Mansion really on top of his combo game. This advantage state is getting called out by G Extreme time and time again. Catching that teach all back. He's waiting at the ledge. Oh, that SDI uh, is going to nice. hurt a F lot. Yep, yep, that's absolutely right. And now suddenly we have G Extreme in the advantage state right now where Castor Man was really showing us how Pichu actually is able to get an advantage over someone like Pikachu who is contestedly better than their counterpart, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, G Screen is playing super well, super patiently in the center stage, but Castar Man is doing super good at kind of like outmaneuvering this Pikachu, right? Like one thing you have is the size difference. Obviously that comes to hurt you a lot, but it's also benefiting you where you're able to get around these combos using your TJ there to try to close the stock here. Oh, look for the Trump, but G Extreme go recovering mm -hmm. high, very good stuff to him. Yeah, now anything will take mm -hmm. the stock here. Yeah, you're completely right. Now we're kind of just seeing what positioning we're going to be taking. I think we're going to be really wanting to offer a lot of ledge guards and ledge situations. That's where the, the Ticho actions going on with either character. Can't even tell who's throwing what at this point. Y'all have the same exact move set, move pool, and species. So here we go. Oh. That border actually taking it off the top. Very good stuff to G. Yeah, 140. That oh, until yeah, funny. nerf, but still, still a good move. Able to take that, and now we're in last stock situation. It's really just whoever find this able, able to find this hit first. G Extreme finding the back air into up air. Oh, we might Loving not gonna the take it, but good 22%. Mm -hmm. Moving that damage even more. I mean, G Extreme trying to find more damage on these combos, and Castar Man's already been on top of it. It's just like playing around this in the neutral. Nice stuffing out that approach again. Oh. Yeah, here we go. We now we're seeing Pichu do a little bit of a, a little bit of work here, and again, I can't stress this enough. Pichu does do damage to himself over time. So it, it, it kind of boils down to you don't want to extend too much because now you're at a part where you're gaining you're gaining percentage at the same time as your opponent and you're only you're a, you're a light little character. Some things things like, P, like you Pikachu are fair. Rat. You, you are, are but a small rat. He is you but are a mouse. small rat. Oh, G stream. There we go. Nice dragon with the nair. Now we'll find the re grab. Trying to catch a jump there. That down smash is yeah. it is definitely going to take it. Goes to the G stream taking game one for one, showing mm -hmm. that he is not but a mouse. He is not Buttermouse, but he is a full going rat. I'm so proud of him. Oh my gosh. He is a G. He's an extreme G. Even with the, go. he has the, the, the Luchadora uh, cosplay on. Good for you. That's my, that's the best Pikachu skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our Pika, that, that's actually, is that, that's hilarious. Weapon? No, the, the, the name of the skin is Our Pika. That, our Pika? That's Barbie. You know, you know Our Mika, the Street Fighter character? You're too young. I'm too little. Oh my gosh. I'm too little. It's okay, Devin, I got the reference and I appreciated it, okay? See, I said Luchadora because I'm Spanish. <laughs> That's fair. You got it. At the Macara de una Luchadora. Like, come on now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. de una Luchadora. Luchadora. I hate saying Luchadora. It's so difficult to say. <laughs> We're trying to look for this, the music, kind of, not the Pikmin. Don't, don't, don't ice us out with environmental noises. Don't do it. Do it, do it, do, do it, it, do don't it. Don't do it. I want complete do and it. utter silence You're a bad for person. going okay, on a small okay. battlefield. Went down. No, yes. it's, really, it's really funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's have so you, funny. Have you ever actually, yes. like we make the joke, have you ever actually seen it happen? Yes. It happened to Bonk. He just That's pretty yeah. good. Thank you. 
Uh, it happened to Bonk at save point when he fought Icy Mist, and like, he was so mad. It was hilarious. It's ambiance. It's ambiance. Exactly. Now we're going into this game two small battlefield. Not environmental noises. We're hearing this is only rat noises. This is this is <laughs> the rat fight <laughs> only is going. squeaking. <laughs> only squeaking, bro. Oh. Trying to find the re-grab there, unfortunately. J-Stream already getting back into this. Nice dash at Castar, man. These damage combos are looking pretty good right now. And as a little reminder, we're, we're on Small Battlefield because we, of course, did um, ban TNC and Kalos. So Casterman uh, did just opt to go Small Battlefield. Pretty good stage for both characters. Um, no one's really in the big, a big clear advantage or disadvantage state. Just because of how close the moveset oh, are. It's just the minute. damage output. Just like Pichu, Pikachu is showcasing right now. Nice down air. Uh, uh, so, uh, good spot down air, guys. Good spot. Uh, hard spot down air. Oh, there we go. G-Stream trying to get some more damage on here and missing the dash tag. Castar Man just looking for an opening with these t -tilt. Maybe getting a little bit too overzealous. That up throw is going to be huge. Nice air dodge out of there. G-Stream's like, yeah, you can't do with that. I invented yep. that. I am the Pikachu. I invented that. I was there already. Uh-oh. Nice using that side to get back to the other side of the mm -hmm. stage. He's fine, but one little hit from Pikachu, he's going to be able to take a stock. you got to be here carefully if you're cast iron, man. You're waiting that out. Back air is not going to take you. You're at 138. You're way, way past your bedtime. Biggest thing I've noticed is that uh, G Extreme is actually very patient in allowing Casterman to come in with his really strong king attack, such as side beat, and just punishing off of that 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 uh, the end like of that with those really really long hitting moves. So Ooh, there's, there's there Pikachu's down what smash coming right into the for, for the call out, absolutely. But now uh, G Extreme doesn't have to do too much work to really take, take this game back for himself. It could be right here. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. That just does it. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff to G Extreme. I think the problem here with Castar Man, he's getting a little too overzealous here in the neutral state. Like he's finding some of these combos a lot of time, but G Extreme is just kind of he's starting to catch on. Like, hey, you're just running at me and looking for combo starters all the time. And I'm Pikachu, right? If I just sit there and, and take the hit or just wait you out, I can easily do the, the same thing. Like he's already trying to close the stock out early. Down tilt coming out of the F Smash, looking for something there at the ledge. Castar Man with the aggressive option again, and one of these days he's gonna find him in the butt. Yeah, oh. you're absolutely right. Now, right now we're having both characters. Fight for control, really the ledge. That's what we've been seeing most of their play be uh, centered, be centered around is the ledge game. And what can we do against one another? Now, of course, we have Pikachu right now in the lead, a really, really extreme lead, and opting for a read and a roll from the ledge, but with a down smash, but not getting anything off of it, unfortunately. But now, Casterman now going over on the other side of the ledge, and now into the air. It's like whatever, oh. whenever he has the opportunity to be on the ledge, he loses it. Oh, there we go. Nice grab him up GX Green. The up throw is not going to take it just yet, but another one might. You got to be careful here if you're cast star, man. Getting a little too crazy here. Nice forward air coming up GX Green. Aggressive neutral get up. He's still not going to get punished. Nice waiting there. Dash tag not going to do much. Trying to catch the landing there with GX Green. Jiu-Jitsu being so patient right now. That's what I love about this guy. He plays super patiently. He waits for his opportunities. Even here, he just waits. Like, at 146, anything will kill Pichu, and you're still just waiting for your golden opportunity. That down smash is going to take I it, though. Smash. There you go, very good stuff. And that's the second down to take it for the night. And there is just a <laughs> dash tag. Dash tag. Okay. There we go. That's the G Extreme. That's the Pikachu classic. That's the G Extreme. That's all you got. That that is definitely extreme. Nice bear drag down to re-grab. Forward air coming out. 39%. The G Extreme coming back on with the up air. Nice combo of his own. 41%. We're going even higher. This is the Pikachu combos that we talk about all the time. This is what makes this character broken. And G Extreme putting it on display right now, catching that landing there again. Passing the landing once again with the back air. Anything with this game, oh, goes a little too crazy with the Thunder. Oh, uh, of course, back. nothing off of that force rush either. So now, right now, now, Casterman finally got the opportunity to take that back that stage, which is what he really needs. Traveling with an air, and now, once again, going in for the smaller force smash and not getting anything off of it. Charging out, I believe, with a down smash as well, but no. And now, uh, G Team did, in fact, interrupt, and now we're once again in a scramble for opportunities. There's that T Joe falling out of the down smash as well. So it's really anyone's game at this point. Oh, Castar Man looking for a hard read on an approach from G Extreme, looking for something at 127. You gotta be careful that down smash! Yeah. It's gonna take There's it no away! Way. You can't mess the tech against Pichu. Mm -mm. You can't. You just can't. That's going to blow you up just like that. And Castar Man post evens up the set count 1 1. Very good stuff to him. Good, good, good stuff. Really good comeback. Uh, immediately, immediately bans uh, Battlefield as uh, one of the options, of course. Heck no. Yeah, it's really solid stuff on Caster, man. I, I, I'm very happy that he was able to bring it back as someone like, like Pichu. Um, our second man, of course, being PS2. You can't you can't miss text against Pichu. I've seen this happen so many times. You can't. We're going to see it right now, the Tekken question. T Joel. T Joel. I tried so hard and got no. so far. Yeah. And in the Missed end, the tech. Yep. it doesn't even matter. 
Oh my gosh. Tijo into down smash. Love to we see it. We need like a compilation of just people folding games against Pichu because they missed the deck. You can't. You can't. You, can. you got to against this character. I know. I know. He's just a small little rat. I know but he's he not really that threatening. Mm -hmm. You could just step on him. He's still got to hit your text though, man. Yeah, because the whole mechanic with Pichu being dealing damage to himself is that he's so strong that he can't take his own like power. You know. Exactly. So he's building his rage all the time. He's he's just always angry. He's so big and angry. I'm angry after watching that. I'm just not a little lie. angry. He's just the slightest bit peeved. Just the absolute slightest. We're going to small battlefield. Okay, we're seeing the Pikachu Pichu run back again. G Extreme still feeling comfortable in this matchup, and I can't blame him. Here we go. Let's get it on. Game number three, G Extreme mm -hmm. versus Castar. Especially with how close he had it in that game too. Anyway, on the same on the same uh, uh, stage, I am not surprised that we're right back over here on small battlefield. Pichu and Pichu once more, both using Quick Attack. Get back on the stage. Oh, really nice conversion off of off of the uh, the nair. Okay, okay, Caster man. Looking very good right now. Caster man trying to get a combo started with these T jolts. G Extreme playing very defensively in this. I think he's getting a little too overzealous right now. He's, he's giving. He's definitely respecting. Uh, he's not respecting his Pichu enough. He's trying like, oh, I can just beat this out because I'm Pikachu, right? You got to realize that if this character, if you lose that interaction, you're gonna be taking a lot. Your st your stock can explode. Like, Pikachu might be heavier than Pikachu, but the, the damage output, the the, uh, the explosiveness is scary. You gotta be careful. And that's, that's the biggest thing with Pikachu. That's why he is considered better than Pichu in most uh, cases. And, and now Extreme is absolutely not scared and coming out deep into the stage to get some kills going. Unfortunately, not getting anything off of those set of interactions. However, we're seeing both characters <laughs> once more skirmish for some control center stage, and G Extreme is going to be taking that first cake. Uh, from the center stage, oh, loving the go. respect from both players on on, on their on their per, uh, their respective opponent. Yeah, exactly. I mean, G Extreme is just re recovering high a little bit too often, right? Like, obviously, it's working out sometimes, but you got to realize that, like, Pikachu, if Pichu catches you lacking there, your stock could be gone. Nice drag going to up. Oh, very very clean throw stuff. Again, and G Extreme it. taking the first stock with the buff throw. A little bit of rage going on with Pikachu, and what we really need to see right now is more of that evasive play. You are now in the advantage stage, so it's not too imperative that you have to enter the stage. You can really uh, work your way into whiff punishing a lot of Pichu's uh, a lot of Pichu's moves. Oh, nice catching that jump there with the backer once again. Double, double up, up air, thirty-four percent on the board. Cast our man trying to find that opening here. But you can putting on so much pressure. He's looking clean as ever right now. That was a that was a beautiful little exchange we saw where it, where. Uh, G Extreme was just being was being so pressured on Casterman that Casterman was too afraid to actually move and resulted in now a deficit, uh, a larger deficit than, than what we could have had for Casterman. Not quite taking it from the all the way to that side of the stage with the back air. Quick attack going right through Casterman. Oh. And here's a bunch of rolls of who's gonna be going in. Oh my gosh, attack. almost out of that dash attack. Pichu is still the latest character in the game, you gotta be careful. Max rage on this Pichu, anything could take it. He's looking for the dash attack, he knows the dash attack can kill right now. Tries to find that re-grab, Castor Man needs to take the stock any way, anyhow. He cannot take the, the deal with this anymore. Trying to find anything, a back air, something, a nair. And G-Extreme just playing so patiently. We're seeing the difference from game two. He's not. Re he's definitely respecting Pichu a lot more. He's saying like, hey, like I know you can find all these combos and I know you can explode me off the smallest thing. Oh my god. Oh, so I, he's definitely I need to have vision. more respect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's been a lot of respect being played on this field, but now Castorman kind of in a, in a fit of, of uncertainty of, oh, of losing. Finally getting the down tilt right there, but we're in a fit of, of you're, we're a deficit, a whole stack behind. We're starting to make a little more risky moves. We're being a little more in Pikachu's face, and that's what G Extreme is waiting for. That's what he's wanting to punish those approaches. Oh, yeah, exactly. Nice catching the jump there. G Extreme already putting himself up. He's looking really good against Castar Man right now, trying to make it back. He found that landing, but G Extreme is just on you like white on rice. He is not giving you any space to breathe. Nice parry, catching the quick attack. G Extreme is just looking so. He's no looking punish G off the dash attack. He is looking like a G right now. Oh my goodness. I gotta see that again. That was G Extreme is the extreme G. I get it now, bro. Like, look the at extreme this. G. Parry, call the quick attack with back Thank here. you, yes. Draw a T Joel. So Shield there's a dash attack. attack. Shoes dash attack. What does he go for? Goes for a grab. What a call out. Wait. Are you insane? Now it's a spot dodge. Oh, yeah. a spot dodge. Okay, no, but why he, he hit was, like that? He was cooking. G extreme. Oh my goodness. Oh my. That entire sequence it was just better player. He just got better player for that, that entire like ten seconds. Nah, that Does was, that Pichu's was spot, spot dodge, dodge really look like that? You yeah. want to know why he's so yellow? I couldn't see the little flash. Well, that's definitely a spot. Oh wait, the hello. Wait, maybe that was a grab. Hold on. Wait, up. that wasn't. That. 
What the hell? Y'all were playing wait, me dirty. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Go, go back, go back. Go, go back. back. Go, wait Because that, his little hand was definitely touching Pikachu's forehead. What happened here? What happened here? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my right bad. Right here. Okay, no, because he spots us. Okay, okay. I thought he oh, just okay, missed so on Pikachu. Dodge. I would have okay. been tight. Sorry, I would have been I'll, tight. I was looking at Pikachu the entire time, so yeah, it, that is true. He did spot dodge. So we were, here we go. I was losing my FD. mind. I was losing my mind. All right, we're, we're on FD. Oh my god, yeah, we're on FD. Um, no platforms in our way. Now we're seeing a very clean cut. This is the way that fighting games were, were built. Yes. Yes. This stream is looking very good right now. Cashing, nice jumping jack down with that down air. Drag down. Oh, nice call there from Castar Man. Cashing G stream, lock him in the ledge. That down smash is going to take. Oh, never mind. Oh, nice DI there from Castar Man. G-Team, like I said, he's just calling out everything from Castor Man oh. again and again. So this is the part where oh G-Team is, is showcasing why FD is a good stage. G-Extreme showcasing Pichu, why you can't play over aggressive with Pichu. No, you can't. Pichu's character, like, honestly, it, it sounds a little counterintuitive, but Pichu, you need to camp sometimes. Like, yeah, the self-damage is going to hurt, but like if you run in every time, you're going to get called out and G-Extreme catching on and just catching every approach off from Castor Man. Like, yeah, his combo game's good, but what's combo game if you can never get in and land a hit? You're absolutely right, and right now, like you were saying, there's no respect for Pikachu right now. Uh, in in terms of from from Casterman, he's going in for a lot of really aggressive options as Pichu, and also just taking Ooh. too long for optimal options, and that's why we got Forest Smash. Thankfully, not getting our stock taken, but we are gonna be rolling into the down smash, and once more, what else is gonna oh happen? Oh my gosh, he going goes all the, the way down, down there. No, down for a down and not taking it. Nice rebuttal there with the dash after cast our man. Looking to close out the stock anyway can. Nice T jaw catch. Ooh, he had oh, the read downside, just barely missing it there with the spacing. G Extreme trying to save that alive here. Oh, nice, nice call out with the offside shot. Actually, we haven't seen that much from G Extreme. Mm -hmm. And now, Cast Iron Man's looking at his final stock and loser side. He's got to make something crazy happen. The Extreme is just no, crazy. Yeah, have, wait a minute, there we go. Back coming out the Thunder call out. He gets away from that, but still, G-Extreme is pushing the pressure right now. Oh, there we go. Finally, nice the stuff, punish man. off of the side B, uh, or at least off of the uh, the charge attack. Here we go with, uh, I mean, G-Extreme has a really good lead right now. A little bit, a lot of extra credit to his name, and also a whole extra stuff to play with. is nothing to fear um, for G-Extreme, but Casterman has a little bit of a hill to climb. Kind of skirmishing around and unable to get any kind of stage presence either. Because every time that he attempts to, G-Extreme just takes it right back with Pikachu. Oh my gosh, yeah. She's looking very good right now. Castor Man finally finding an opening and taking good advantage of that, finding that uh, combo into that down air. He's struggling to find the stock. If he can find the stock relatively early, he's looking fine, but oh my gosh. That was, that, was, that, yep. was the, that was the mom call for dinner, DI. That was the. Mom said the, the, the line is getting cold. Let's go. That was the attack the south, DI. That was not defend the north. That was attack the south. That was crazy. That was unfortunate. That was attack the look, south. What, what was he doing? He was like, he, he's like, yo, defend the north, bet. I'm going. I'm going north. Goodbye. <laughs> he's my out man, of there. My man went, went west. That's crazy. He went west. And then here he went e-west. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. G-Extreme e was just looking so clean. We don't see enough Pikachu gameplay, honestly. Like, yeah, this character is very good. And, yeah, this character isn't the hypest. But, like, I love seeing just clean gameplay. No, this, this was a very clean, it was a very clean, clear cut match uh, for Jeez, Extreme. That was just not wanted to get to get it out of the way. Boom, bam, bop. We're we're moving straight on um, throughout bracket. But as a really quick break, we're going to be talking about a few of our uh, people like MSI. MSI. Wow, MSI. What's MSI? What's going on? What's